You heard it here first. People we don't know matter. inherent value. No, not at all. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Debate Me. I'm Miranda. Uh, my name is Jaden. And our topic today will be the mighty narwhal. For those of you who've never seen this before, because it has never existed before, uh, Miranda has chosen this topic, so I will get to choose my position first. I'm going to say narwhals, nay. And I am going to say narwhals, hell yay. And just a disclaimer, there is no prep or research going into these debates. What we know is what we know, so I hope we both know what a narwhal is. I'm not confusing it with like a manatee, right? Like it's the, it's the one with the horn. It's the one with the horn. Okay, well it's, it's not a horn. You know that, right? It's a tooth. It's the tooth, like it's a highly specialized tooth. Frankly, I think that's in the pro column. Oh, no. I think the fact that it's a tooth is cool. No, absolutely not, absolutely not. The fact that it's a tooth means it's a monster of nature. Dentists love her. No. <laughs> So imagine if an elephant's tusks went like through its forehead. That's insane. That's what that it shouldn't exist. I'm sure nature has her reasons. So give give me reasons then. Okay. Uh, for instance, I am pro narwhal. That is my stance because mm -hmm. they are the closest thing we have to a unicorn on this planet currently, and I think that's pretty dope. All right. All right. I I see you, and I counter that the rhino is much closer much closer to a unicorn, if for no other reason than it is also a land animal. I think they're equally close in different ways. <laughs> okay. And I would say that that means the narwhal is just as close to being like a mermaid. Mermaid, unicorn, double trouble. <laughs> Again, in the pro column. <laughs> well, I also, okay, so I, I want to say it's also closer because it's a quadruped, but I'm now questioning whether or not narwhals have four appendages. No, narwhals have no appendages. Well, don't they have flippers? I honestly don't know. Is a narwhal a dolphin? Yeah, it's, it's so like, like a oh, So it's like a man, oh, so, yeah. so it has, so it has flippers, but doesn't have, doesn't have four. It has a tail. It doesn't have legs. No, it doesn't have legs, but does it have like, are, are the, is the tail like individually articulated? No, that would be, that would truly be horrifying. That's horrible. That's, that's the line. The line is, is narwhals with legs. I feel like I feel like it's a point it's a point for me. Um <laughs> again, I think that narwhals are majestic creatures because their tusks symbolize fertility. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. I think you're talking about elephants again. I think I think the problem is we're back on elephants. No. Well, we don't know cuz we can't check. No, we can't check. We're not allowed. Uh here here's my thing. I think that narwhals are also just really bad at what they do. They swim in packs and what's really weird about some of their migration patterns is uh, when the ice breaks up they will they'll swim through like the channels together but sometimes they'll get stuck and because the channels are very narrow they'll just kill each other accidentally. You're looking at this entirely the wrong way. They're just really ride or die for their aesthetic and that's something to commend. <laughs> People who aren't well, n narwhals that aren't willing to compromise who they are and what their <laughs> horn teeth are just for convenience. But, but, but they they're just, mavericks. They're, no, they're bad at what they do. We're That's, bad at what we do. Does that mean we don't have worth? Well, the, mm, see, now I'm tempted here <laughs> to just outright agree with you and, and force you to, to deal with me on the level. That like you and I don't don't have inherent value. You heard it here first, people. We don't know matter. inherent value. No, not at all. So then, what what about them is majestic? Because you keep coming back to that. That's like a huge singular point for you. I mean, imagine that you're a people in the ocean. I've I've been in the ocean. I I can thoroughly imagine this. And up out of the waves first comes the horn. And then a fish. And then the <laughs> And you're like, whoa! How cool! I feel like what you're describing to me is not like the joy of a narwhal, but just like the idea of the ocean. And I don't know if you get points for that. That might be fair. That might be valid. <laughs> but I've made several good points thus far, and those should not be dismissed on account of my one All right. very bad point. All right, that's fair. Uh, how about this? How about this? New point, order. Uh, nay narwhal, because narwhal is so objectively bad at hunting that it needs 
horn tooth. I don't think they use it for hunting. I can't out outright refuse I that. I purely think it's like Or defense. do you think it's just ornamental and defense? Defense and for now please don't take this the wrong way, but for mating purposes to like show how like healthy and virile, like how a buck will have horns. It's ornamental. And, yeah. Uh, I think it's just to prove who has the the best bod. It's like when penguins bring each other pebbles, it's just like having the biggest pebble. Hmm. Okay. Which I think is sweet. It's romantic. Narwhals <laughs> are romantic. Change my mind. <laughs> oh god. I would still argue that there are many other animals that don't need that to display in that way. I definitely don't think it's a need. It's a flex. They are the boss bitches of the Oceanic Kingdom. Who sometimes ramrod one another in ice straits. Things can't go well for you all the time. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so setting that aside, then... Okay, so then will they... Could, could they... Hmm. Yes. He's taking a think break. I'm taking a think break. Because my argument has been so sound. The foundation I've built is so solid. Well, and every every time I try to bring something up, I'm, I'm met with a wall of something that I can't outright refute, so I'm, I'm stuck. What if you can't blow them away with your brilliance, baffle them with your bullshit? You've been baffled. I might have been. I think they're a gross color, though. They're like a dark... Gray blue. They're not. They're like a mottled gray green. No, I want our kitchen cabinets to be narwhal colored. Our someday. kitchen cabinets are narwhal colored. No, no, no they're, they're, they're disgusting. Much darker. They're the same color as as this wall behind us. And that's not the color of a narwhal. Okay. You just don't know because you don't know what a narwhal looks like. <laughs> now, as see, is becoming readily apparent. I feel that I'm being punished now for the nature of of this video, <laughs> not for actually knowing or whether or not narwhals I think are in a way, the way they are. I think in a way, debate me is kind of like trivia, where the advantage just goes to the person who inherently comes with the most knowledge, which is in one part luck, and in two parts just like, I'm a genius and clearly you are not. Prove me wrong, win this argument about narwhals. <laughs> All right. All right, fine. <laughs> no narwhals, because uh, they can't, they they don't, um, because uh, a lion could take them down. Is this the hypothetical? Okay, first of all, lions are not accomplished swimmers. So what arena? Oh, no, narwhals are really stupid and often beach themselves. Uh, one would have to just majestically beach itself so far inland to the Serengeti. Uh, that a lion would just, you know, eat it. And that's why they're chumps. And that's why no to the narwhal. I think we can all agree that that is the worst point that has ever been brought up in an actual or pseudo debate in human history. Except maybe those debates about what is and is not a sandwich. Those get pretty dumb pretty what is fast. It, is no, all the narwhals a sandwich. No, oh my god. <laughs> I will rage quit this conversation. <laughs> it's getting heated in here. The narwhal fandom is going to come for your ass. The narwhal fandom. Narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion. Because they are so awesome. Is yeah. that a... That's the thing. No, that, that's like some ancient meme. That's the deep lore. We're like beyond parody. This is this is the meta beyond that which we have like any claim to or any claims against. It's just in the ether. It and just we've is. Plucked it. Have you seen? It's an animated video. Have you never? Is seen it, it about narwhals? Yes, though? it's about. It's okay, a, that's a pro. Oh. Narwhals are so prevalent. Look what you did. Look at the corner you backed yourself into. You got to be ready. I'm sharp, like a mental ninja. <laughs> I've actually been outfoxed in this, yeah, and I'm yes. I'm I'm deeply upset that I I backed myself into this corner.
You're lucky there's not a narwhal in that corner. They didn't pale you. <laughs> They're purely ornamental. And I or think tooth. I think that's how this debate ends. Final points. Okay. To summarize. To summarize? I don't know. I feel like we can just try to claim who won this. Oh, I won this. Yeah, you won this. Yeah. I, I did I'm glad not we're in this. agreement. All right. Shake hands on frame. Join us next sometime. We have no set schedule for these videos, so we will release them as we want to. See you guys. And let's not forget, I won. Never I won. <laughs>